Hey guys, it's Joshua Chester Scarf, and here is day five, the final day of the Blossoming Spring Week. Hope you guys enjoyed this week of my flowers. Um, I was really glad to do it, so um, here's today's flower. Today I saved the best for last, in my opinion. Um, it's my royal flowers. Um, I got the idea of these flowers from Laura from Following the Paper Trail. And um, she did glass flowers, um, but I didn't have um, a melting pot or UD, so I came up with my own way using um, my potch. So here are my flowers, and I packaged them. And um, I like to call them royal flowers because they just look to me like royalty. So this one is dark and night, and um, it's black, red, and gold, and then a um, amber or not amber, uh, I guess amber or copper color, um, going in the center. I'm watching my nephew, so you can hear him in the background. Um, and then this is another one. This is Dark Fairy. There's that one. And then we have English Rose. It's a um, red, a craft, a pink, and then an orange bling. And then, um, one I haven't packaged yet is this one, and this is called, um, Morning Tea, because it has the gray, the blue, and the yellow, and the green, um, blue. Where'd your toy go? Okay. Sorry. Okay, so we're going to be making these today. Some things we're going to need is um, some more deck of flowers, and I've been using these flowers all week long, the same kind. Um, so, let's get right, started. So what you're going to do is, with your biggest flower, I'm using brown, pink, and olive. And then what you're going to do is, you're going to, with the biggest flower, you're going to curl the edges down. And, um, actually... First, before you start curling anything down, you're going to cover your flowers in Mod Podge. But, um, just for the time being, I'm not going to do that today. But that's what you would do first. That's going to give it, um, its shine. I don't know if you can really tell. But, so once you got that done like this, you're going to fold all your petals up. And be careful not to uncurl them. So you're going to basically do that. So then you have this like that. Now with your second biggest flower, you're going to do like yesterday, or well, no, not yesterday's flower, but um, the day before yesterday's flower, um, the pinching technique. So you're just going to pinch your flowers. Again for this, no bone folder needed. Okay, so after you got that done, you can also set that aside. And then with this last one, I like to use a skewer. You're going to fold these ends down as well. So it's curl down, pinch, and then curl down. Sorry if I go off camera. Okay. And then, oops, and then the same thing, fold all your petals up. And these ones might uncurl, but that'll be okay. Alright. Another thing you're going to need is some kind of center, whether it be brad, pearl, um, bling, whatever. Today, I'm going to be using a pearl bead. I thought that would look really nice with these flowers. So. And then with this one, I forgot, you're going to go ahead and fold these up as well. Just like how you did this one. So, oops. I kind of just like bunch it all in there together. Oh. Next is the glue. Now with these, it has a hole in the um, center. So, oops. So when gluing with um, using your Cricut, just be careful that you... Don't, oops, wrong one. Don't get glue everywhere. So you're going to glue the bottom of the middle flower. Alright? So once you glue the bottom, you're going to glue it to here and kind of offset the petals so they're not like all the same way. 
just like that. Okay. And then do the same with this one. Always glue the bottom of the flower because you don't want to get it in the um, hole and you don't. Okay, so. Good. Now, after you got that, you basically, like, pressed it. So you want to, like, fluff it, kind of back up a little bit there. So just kind of do that. And then there you go. So last, I'm going to add the pearl. Just going to throw some glue in there. And there you go. Here is day five of the Blossoming Spring Weeks flower. Now, these flowers aren't on Etsy yet, but they will be on Etsy soon. And I um, hope you guys enjoyed. And stay tuned tomorrow for the Sunday Weekly. Thanks, guys. Have a great weekend. Bye.